Lavana Marie Young or Lavana Harris, born M. L. Clark on May twenty fourth, seventy six. Um, was the oldest of three. Is the oldest of three. Um, went to Hollywood High Performing Arts Magnet, where she took this picture in the famous book called Fast Forward: Growing Up in the Shadow of Hollywood. And she found herself not long after high school married. Um sure with her husband and family and then divorced and then in church as the songwriter and choir girl in Open Arms Community Church Los Angeles Amen. Oh, hallelujah. I had a really good time back there um, my only experience my first experience of Mexico was going up and partying the first time I was able to go and fellowship and um, make better memories, praising the Lord in, in song and fellowshipping with everybody. And it was a really, really beautiful experience. And when we had to think about the family, I had a time. They, were, they opened their hearts to me. They were just beautiful She attended college at the Musicians Institute in Hollywood, where she won her bachelor's in music and started recording and releasing her own albums from home and introducing the world to her wonderful style. Cut my finger. Oops.
perform at a venue called Sex Pot and this was her backstage of that venue. How I how I healed myself from my cute schizophrenia and all those nightmares and shit was through my first husband. We got a hotel room and I said, okay, so pretend like I don't know you. And I'm gonna just got my hotel room key, I'm gonna go into my hotel. I'm gonna go to open the door and you're gonna run up to me and demand to come in. And you're gonna throw yourself on me when I have sex. But the code word is, uh-uh. He said, that's the code word? I said, yeah, he said, what's the code word? I said, uh-uh. He said, uh-uh, no, what's the code word? I said, the code word is uh-uh. He said, tell me the code word. I said, uh-uh. He said, tell it to me. I said, uh-uh. So I, I did tell it to you. He said, tell it to me. I said, uh-uh. He said, okay. The code word was uh-uh. <laughs> Follow me? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, yeah, go on, keep, keep talking. So he, um, started raping me on the bed, and he got into it. He was raping me, fucking him, I was like, oh. And then he spit on me, and I said, uh-uh! <laughs> and I started crying, and I said, you spit on me! <laughs> but he stopped, though. So I got back the control that I had once... A fan of fellow rape survivor Tori Imas 
Levana actually empowers rape survivors, um, encouraging them to forgive their attackers so that they could heal and, and not be trapped in bitterness and anguish and go on with their lives as victors. Because that's what she did. She made a career for herself out of nowhere. Independently, she needed an, an interview. She would interview herself. She needed a documentary. She would document herself. And give true reign and true name to independent artistry, which is what exactly she studied at the Musicians Institute, the Independent Artist Program, IEP, where she graduated in 2010.